Assalamu alaikum everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I've come to the new house. Um, from the title you're aware that it's all like homeware haul. So I've got a lot of stuff that I wanted to film and show you today. Um, I have shopped in Ikea, Amazon and Donnell, where else? It's all mainly Ikea and Amazon anyway. Um, probably aware that I went to uh, London a, week, a couple of weeks back. So I'll show you what I got from there as well, from the um, home outlet. Also um, from Zara Home, got bits from Zara Home. And um, I just wanted to talk to you regarding our uh, moving. We are moving in a couple of weeks. The house is complete. So I am going to, once we've tidied up the entire house because it's dusty everywhere, um, we're gonna show you an empty house tour of it all done and renovated. And um, once I've moved in, I'm going to be decorating each room individually and I'm going to try to film it all for you. I know some of you have um, been asking about the house updates, when's the next house vlog coming out. I've just been so busy with packing my other house and trying to organise things. And then my husband had food poisoning and he was in hospital. So I was a bit stuck by myself with my kids. So I found it a bit hard and difficult to... Um, film any content for you but um he's all well alhamdulillah he's all better now so i will go from um i'll do shop by shop and i'll show you individually what i bought and where i'm going to place them all and so you can get a rough idea of um how it might look so um yeah so let's get straight into the video i am sat in my daughter's room by the way this is um in Aya's room and you probably see a lot of stuff behind me this is all the new stuff that I bought for this house. All right, first of all, I'm going to start with Ikea. So, as you all know, if you've watched my previous videos, that um, my house is pretty much black and white everywhere. So I wanted to warm up the house with wicker baskets, bring in some earthy tones. So first thing from Ikea, I've got these um, mats. They're quite long mats. I don't know if you can see it. It looks um, hard, but they're actually soft to touch. So I got these for the front door for the inside of my house. So as you enter my house, this will be the mat right near the front door. I got two of these because um, do you know where my boiler room is, where I'm going to hang all my coats and shoes. I got another mat to put inside there as well to protect the floor. So when people come in with their shoes, the floor's protected. So I got two of these. I got. These are from Ikea, they're really um, placemats. Again, I love the colour of these, the nice round ones. I'm gonna have them on my dining table. The next thing, I'm gonna just try going for it quickly because there's quite a lot I need to show you. These were a bargain. So, got these little mats and they're plain white. So basically I got loads of these. I've got how many did I get? I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So these are gonna be the smaller ones are for um outside my shower. So when you come outside my shower, I've got the smaller mats to stand on. And then like inside in front of my um vanity, my sink in the bathrooms, I've got the larger size. Again, these are the bigger mats that I got in Ikea again same color plain white these are going to be the bigger so these are going to be for the vanity area in the bathrooms which is nice and soft the really like cozy ones so again how many did I get one two three four I've got plenty of bath mats now and shower mats um, I bought some from HomeSense previously. So they're all the same colour, kept it um, all the same colour for easy to wash and stuff. And plus it gives you like the hotel feel when they're white as well. I've got um, these from Ikea. They're just hand towels. Again, they're all for the bathroom, keeping it all the same colour. So they're just to dry your hands after you've washed your hands in the bathrooms. This is for upstairs and downstairs bathroom. So I've got a few of those. 
One, two, three. I got four of those. Again, easy to wash and reuse. What else did I get? Right, I got um, these cheap little slippers. These are for my guests when I have guests over. Um, if they don't like walking bare feet or they've got no socks on, I can always hand, in, hand them these to walk around in. Um, they're only like 250 I think, each. So I've got a few sets of those. I'm going to keep them in my um, boiler room where we're going to store our shoes in a basket for guests. Might get a few more actually, so um, I'll always have some. Found this nice gold tray. This is from IKEA again. I don't know what I'll use it for. I just got it because it was gold. I can either use it to like, you know, put a plant on it or something. What else did I get? Right, um got these little um, plant pots. So this one I got for my upstairs bathroom. The second one I got from, um, sorry, not got from, but got it for the downstairs bathroom. It's just a plain black wicker. And this one I got for the kitchen. I'll show you why, because I picked up these faux hanging plants. One for like the kitchen, one for the bathroom, and um, both bathrooms. So I've got three. So all I'm going to do is put it in like that and have it hanging off my shelf or my window sills. Looks very nice. And then I've got this type as well. Again, and then just put it in like a basket like this and then just hang it right next thing I've got I got six of these wicker baskets if you watched my um, dream kitchen tour video um, in the utility room, I spoke about having baskets on my shelves. These are the baskets I was on about. They're nice and um, small. So I can store extra kitchen towels or um, dishcloths and stuff like that in them. Because I haven't got many drawers in my kitchen. They're mainly cupboards. So I thought baskets would be ideal to store extra stuff that we need. So yeah, I've got six of these. Moving on, what else did I get from Ikea? This was amazing. These curtains from Ikea, I saw this hack on Instagram. Um, someone from I bought some tracks that go on the ceiling um, from Ikea, which are very cheap. And um, they look really like um, made to measure curtains. It looks really good. And these are the perfect length from ceiling to floor. And those tracks, I'm just thinking they'll look amazing in our sunroom in front of all our bifold dolls. So literally, they're going to be kissing the floor, the curtains, and it's right to the ceiling. So it's going to look very expensive, but in a really cheap way. So these are the curtains that I've got for the sunroom. Can you see the colour? Yeah, it's just like an ivory colour. So I've got um, three sets and there's two in each packet. So because the entire wall, the entire length of my room and width of my room, um, I had to buy three packets to um, cover the entire wall. Oh. Stacking it up high. Yeah, so. Also, I just picked up some glass ball bowls. I can use them for like... Um, I'll move that. I can use this for like salad and anything like that. Just grab two. <coughs> they bowls. That, they always come in handy for anything, really, don't they? So, um, again, I found these little ones. These are good for desserts and stuff like that. So I've got about twelve of those little ones and just two of the bigger ones. 
picked up a fair few packets of these. These are to go on the curtains for the sunroom that I got from Ikea. This is to hang from the track to onto your curtains. And also you're going to need those as well. These pins to hang the curtains from the track. So I've got two of those. Right, I think that's it with Ikea. Oh, I did actually... Um, I'm not going to open that box. It's only like a table for Inaya, for my daughter to do um, drawing and art and all that. Play-doh to play stuff in the playroom. So just, I'm actually gutted that they didn't have the stools that goes with the table in stock. So we have to go back and get those. Right, let's move on to Amazon, I think. Forgot to show you these. I also bought all these tall plants from Ikea. I bought about five, five plants to go in like my living room, my hallway, my bathrooms, both bathrooms. I have got um, an olive tree coming from Artie Planto online for the living room as well, but that's taking time to come. But these were a bargain, so we just got those. I love Amazon. Amazon is my favourite, but um, I know I've bought so much from Amazon, but I can't find it all. I don't know what I've done with it all. It's somewhere, but not in here. But anyway, I bought some. I've got a lot more coming today as well and over this whole week, so which I can show you once um, it's here. So from Amazon, I bought some more Pampers. So I've got some short ones. These are going to need to be fluffed out. And hairsprayed, blow dried, whatever you want to do to make it all nice and fluffy. So I've got this colour. Might put it in my hallway on top of my sideboard. I'm actually still waiting for my sideboard. It's on order, but everything's taking so long to come, which is quite annoying. It took me ages to actually like find a sideboard that I actually liked that will go perfect in my space. And then now it's going to take they said, at least three to four weeks for it to come. Also bought some more Pampers. These are really, t well not really tall, but they're taller. Um, I'll show you what I'm going to put them on. They're in those um, wicker baskets at the back. Can you see? I did get back wicker baskets to put these in. So again, they can go on my stairs, maybe upstairs hallway. I'll decide later once I'm actually starting to unpack and decorate this house. Right, because um, my kitchen is so precious to me, I bought drawer liners and cupboard liners to like protect my inside of my cupboard. And I don't want to scratch the wood inside, so I got these. Got about four or five packets of these. They're just like, um, like you know, non-slip draw liners. There we go. Um, this box here, I'm not going to open it. It's just a washing basket hamper I bought from Amazon. It, um, I'll insert a picture here so, so you can see what it is. So it's got three individual parts to the laundry basket so you can separate your loads, like your whites, your mixed colours and your blacks. So um, I got that to put in my utility room. I think it's going to fit perfectly in the gap that I, where I want it. I've also ordered some tea, coffee and sugar pots. But I'm a bit sad because I thought they were a bit bigger than what I expected. So they're quite small. But I've ordered it now, so I'm going to just have to deal with it. But they're just like um, plain, simple glass jars. I'll open it up to show you. And then that's the lid. See, the picture looks so much better. The quality isn't great, to be honest. I don't think of these will, I'll use it now, but eventually I'm going to change it. So um, again, in my kitchen, I wanted to warm up the space by bringing in wood tones. And because it's a wooden kitchen, I want to bring out the wooden outside of the kitchen because they're mainly inside. So I found these. It's a wooden lid with a gold 
ring on the top with a like a leather strap and that's the glass jar so these are for my sugar tea and coffee so that's what they look like yeah okay i mean i would like them slightly bigger but there is you can get the bigger size it's my fault i should have done my maths properly if i ordered on um the actual picture on amazon the wood is like a darker wood and this one isn't as dark so i'm not very happy with these ordered this bin in black i don't know if you can see it bring you closer so that's the bin i ordered it's, it stands on these legs it's just a push um push down and open the lid opens automatically yeah so it's a 65 litre I think this one, it's a 60 litre, yeah, so it's the brand uh, Brabantia, I think it says Brab Brabantia, and I got it in the matte black. Yeah, so this is perfect bin for my kitchen, I can tuck that away in the corner near my fridge and freezer. Every time I go in home sense, I always find something, I never come out empty handed. So I walked in there the other day and I picked up a couple of baskets. So I got these wicker baskets. This is to put all my um, faux plants in. So it's to um, show you. How am I going to show you that? Yeah, so this is the plant. That's it. And it's just going to sit in there like that. So I got. I need to buy a few more. So every, I go for incense quite often. So I'm going to pick up a few different ones. So I really like that one. So I needed to get a few more, uh, four more. I got um, these from HomeSense for my upstairs bathroom. They're just some jars with gold lid. Yeah, so um, they're gonna be for cotton wool, cotton birds, something like that. They're gonna look pretty on my bathroom vanity. So I love those. Also picked up a nice candle. It smells really nice. Comes with a um, wood lid and like a metal ring opener thing. Oh, this float, this um, is smoked bourbon. It's a limited edition one. Yeah, so it was quite a big one. And I'm, it's keeping with the colour tone as well. So I've got like the gold plate and the brown jar. I'm going to probably stick this in my hallway. It smells really nice. Oh, only if they had a few more to grab some more. <laughs> I picked up. I've got loads of bathroom mats. These are for the outside of the shower. I always get the smaller ones for outside the shower and the bigger ones in front of the vanities. So I just picked up a few more again, keeping in the same colour. So they're always easy to wash. I can put a load on together once I like, you know, make a pile of them. I've got more somewhere else. Uh, to be honest, I don't even know where half my stuff is. I'm trying to think where I put it all. It may be in the garage downstairs or in that studio room in the garden. Then I bought this massive wicker basket. This is for my downstairs bathroom because I've got so much floor space in there. I thought this would be wicked for um, toilet rolls. So I'm going to fill it all the way up with toilet rolls. So I don't have to keep restocking the bathroom with blue rolls. Really love that basket. Um, what else did I get? So I'm gonna show you what I got from Danelm now. So from Danelm, I got this um, light shade for Adil's room, my son's room. Cause that's this color that he's got on his walls. It's just like a spaceship um, design on there. So it's got like stars and moons and um, planets and rockets. Let's show you properly. Can you see that? Yeah, so the light, they're all cut out. All this is cut out so the light will peek through them. What else did I get? Um, from Danelle, also from my son's room. Got him some curtain poles. That's to hang his um, curtains. My, 
I got th that colour curtain. They're downstairs in the garage, I think, the curtains are. So that's the same colour as um, curtains I got as well for him. They're just plain blackout curtains and that's just the pole to go with it. So I went for like a, a metal, what colour is that? It's like a black, it's more like a slate grey black curtain pole for his room. I also bought these wicker baskets, they're taller ones from Denel. Um, they are about £30 each. I've got two of these. Again, I'm thinking of putting, I really, I've got some really tall pampas that I want to put in my bedroom. So I thought two in each corner on the side of my bed would look really nice. These are Denelm as well. So my windowsill in my kitchen is really tiny. So these um, little pots, they're just little flower plant pots. Um, they'll fit nicely there the perfect size for that area of my kitchen so i've got two of those put you over there and i also got this plant it also already comes on a little plant pot with legs and this is going to be inside the kitchen above my microwave that open shelving that i've got so i might put some recipe books near this plant and it'll be just hanging off like this and that one was £16 from Denel. I love these hanging plants. Also, I got these from Denel as well. They are three fifty pounds each. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six of them. I got, I'm going to cut them down. I'm going to cut these down and put them in a vase that I bought from H&M Home and make them shorter and have it on top of my island in my kitchen. So um, again, it's just like stems with little white flowers on it. Give you a closer look. Really like them. Going back to home since, I also picked up these boxes. I got, I got these boxes for my daughter to put, um, put her Play-Doh and all her paint sets and crayons and that. So if I have guests over and all these kids get together, I can lock it away because I can't risk any paint and stuff on the floor in my house. So um, I thought these boxes are really pretty. So I've got two of those. So when I went to London, I popped into Zara home. Again, I found another wicker basket Again, this is just to put another plant in. And I also picked up this bench. It's only a mini little bench. You might have seen it if you watched my um, other video on YouTube. Yeah, so this is like a waterproof shower bench. And I bought this for my downstairs bathroom. It's really cute. I really like the colour. And I did buy other little bits from Zara Home, but it's not here. I bought some lovely towels for my daughter which I'll show you later on once I've moved in because it's not here at the moment and um, home outlet now I'm going to show you what I bought from home outlet in London as well so if you watch my video you would know I bought these two from um, the home outlet in London I think it's on the end circular road so these are really heavy <laughs> So I've got the, you get, they come in a set, they come in two different sizes. These are so beautiful and the quality is amazing. These were about 300 and something pounds for two of those, which I thought was a good deal because when I look online for looking for um, vases this tall and this big, the individually they're like three, 400 pounds. So to get two in a set, I thought that was quite a good price. So again, I don't know what I'm putting in these, or I just might just stand it up in my hallway as it is. So I picked up some rugs as well. So I've got this um, beautiful rug from Home Outlet. It's um, a really large rug for my living room. This um, is made out of bamboo silk. So it's very luxurious quality, the rug is. This um, rug here is a really like fluffy one. It's so beautiful. It is, um, it's from Home Sense. 
which I got for Inaya's room, this room, the room that was sat in, to put under her bed. And then this one is actually from Wayfair. It's just like a blackish, greyish rug, really large one. I thought oh, I can put that in the playroom. So um, I'm not going to open them up and show you. So you're going to have to wait for that. Once I moved in, I'll show you once I've um, put it on the floor. Yeah, so you can see the mess in here. I need to sort it all out. I can't wait to um, get this all in the right places. Right, if you watched it all the way through, thank you very much. Um, I just firstly, I would like to say the lovely comments I received on my Dream Kitchen video. I mean, it really was very nice. I mean, thank you very much for everyone that commented and liked my video. So basically, my house update is coming very soon. I'm going to get on to it now, actually. But um, the carpet is fitted upstairs. It's a beautiful carpet. And the sunroom is now complete. So the entire house work is finished. Just a few little niggly bits and like curtain poles and stuff to go up yet. But um, it's decorated. It's all complete now. So um, I'm going to show you once I've cleaned the entire house and it's emptied. So you can get a really good look at um, what we've done in this house. Also, um, I'm going to start these move moving vlogs because we are thinking of moving in like a couple of weeks. Inshallah, maybe if all goes well, we're going to probably move on the 20th or the 21st of Feb. So um, it'll be a continued video of me decorating each individual room with all the new stuff that I've bought and all the new furniture pieces. So I'm going to just um, title them uh, Moving Vlog 1, Moving Vlog 2 and stuff like that. So um, if you like watching these sort of videos, don't forget to subscribe and please turn the bell's notification button on. So YouTube can notify you every time I upload and please share with your friends and family. So get them to subscribe as well. They'll help my channel out a lot. So if you could do that for me, it'll be amazing. Stay tuned. House update coming soon. So I'll see you in my next video. Take care. Bye.